Now with the sound effects. <laughs> What's good guys, it's Marcel J, curator of good vibes and good music. Back at it again. The internet's wild, 2020 is crazy, best friends are becoming enemies. Uh, it's a weird time, but Megan The Stallion, one of the biggest rappers in the world right now, had a best friendship, had a moment with Kelsey Nicole, uh, you remember back in the days, like the beginning of like the hottie, hot girl shit, that era, her and Kelsey were inseparable, partying together, uh, making money together, like they worked together and it just seemed like the perfect best friend, like relationship connection. But enough about Megan. This isn't, this video is not directly about Megan, it's about Kelsey. So let's get into her, her musicality. Let's get into her bars. Let's see what she's giving outside of I'll say that, let's hear her truth, because for you to really put yourself in the, in the narrative, it makes sense, like, clout-wise, it makes sense, kind of, career-wise, if you're trying to transition into a rap career, or if you're just doing this for, for shits and giggles, but, yeah, let's, let's see. Bussin' back. Over the Tupac beat. Bitch, that crash that boat, I'm 42. It's a shame we're here today. Truth be told, it's cause of you. Couldn't control your little feelings. Look what dick is costing you. It was all good, yeah. About a week ago, shout out Bobby's murder. But this bitch is pretty cheap. I was the one with the gun. You would have heard about a murder. Set her back. Wait. Wait, let me. One more time. Yeah, yeah. Who I'm taking shots at? Bitch, I'm busting you. I'm talking to that same bitch that crashed that boat. I'm 42. It's a shame we're here today. Truth be told, it's cause of you. Couldn't control your little feelings. Look what dick is costing you. It was all good, yeah. About a week ago, shout out Bobby's murder. Couldn't control your feelings. Look what that dick is costing you. I mean, don't get me wrong, friendships are important, friendships, especially healthy, like mutually beneficial, great, positive friendships are important, but like, I mean, outside of the friendship with Kelsey, what did, what did Megan lose? If anything, she gained notoriety from everyone. Like everyone knew her name, if not for the music, for what happened to, what happened with her and Tori and just that whole situation, that debacle. Like, let's not, let's not, uh, this is semantics, but like, that's... See, if you would have kept it solid, I would have been told it. Like, what does that mean? I just, it's its annoying the whole time, the, this whole process of all three of them, Nicole, 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 Kelsey, Megan, and Tori, not telling the full story, but using that moment to make their own art or their own, like, statements, whether it be Tori's whole ass fucking album. Like, I still haven't listened to, and I'll not listen to, because that's just corrupt on so many levels, but with him doing that whole album and trying to explain his, not only his side of a story, but just telling a whole as cinematic universe type story for whatever reason. Then Megan with her intro track for Good News, and now Kelsey, like, I get making, if this was for creative expression, just for releasing your feelings, that's fine. But for someone who's so like, not like Megan, like, Evil's evil, she's an evil spirit. You don't want to be compared to her, all this bullshit. It's like, why are you still in her world? Why are you still fucking with, or why are you still like going to like Carl Crawford of her events for 1501 when like, you know, there was that messiness with her label, with Megan's label. It's just, you're inserting yourself back into a narrative and I get it. I'll, I'll stop for a second. I'll get it because like, people are still talking about you. People are still throwing dirt on your name. But if you're not gonna tell the full truth, which might look make you look bad, it's like why this song feels unnecessary. Damn, I ain't wanna have to do this, but you said it shooting shots. Damn, I ain't wanna have to do this, but you said it shooting shots. Damn, if I spoke better sex take a drug. Never supposed to be against each other. This which y'all made it, I'm still Yo, like This is so interesting, because I get it. I I if I feel like if I was in this scenario, I was in, I was a Kelsey, like um, the whole internet turned on me after because for it was a good I want to say it was a good fucking year of 
of Kelsey and Megan being best friends and it being showcased on the internet. Everyone loved Kelsey. Everyone was like, yo, that's, that's the best friend goal is like to be able to support your friend on her rise and just, you guys are like evolving and leveling up together. It's dope. We love to see it. But the internet will turn on you as quick as they praise you and love you. Like they're just waiting to kick you off the pedestal they put you on. So for months, especially like Black Twitter, The Shade Room, all of those very sometimes toxic um, places on the internet. Like I know Kelsey was feeling the stings of all of the people talking shit, but it's like, ah, you making this diss track, it, it doesn't seem like you wanna be out of the narrative, you wanna be out of the drama if you're gonna do this and then not explain what's actually happening because before this dropped earlier tonight she made like a little four minute IG live just you know venting i know that i ain't never wanted none of your niggas it was really come to find out i come to find out your ass was fucking with a nigga behind my back that i was on first and that ain't right because you're supposed to be my best you're supposed to be my best friend we laugh at bitches that do that shit to each other we we're not supposed to do that shit to each other Expressing your feelings, like being like, yo, stop, stop talking about me. The fucking, um, I don't talk about you until someone sends shit up, sends shit you say about me to me. And then I feel like I have to respond. But it's like, at this point, you really don't have to respond unless you're going to speak on what happened and clear your name. Because that would, that would be what I'm most worried about if I was Kelsey. Like, if I really, if I was, because in the situation, the story, she makes it seem, or on the IG Live, she makes it seem like Tori and her were a thing first. And then Megan swooped in and tried to steal her man. And then that was part of the altercation with uh, the shooting uh, after the party. Like that was the whole thing, like it all coming to surface. So it's like, if that was the case, I don't know if that, if that was the case, I feel like she would have said that shit sooner. Cause uh, there was a certain point where they just weren't friends. They weren't like, Connected. Oh, now with the sound effects. That's so wild though, because it's like no one's saying that Kelsey shot her. It's Tori. So is she trying to say Tori didn't? I just, I, I don't understand. I don't understand this. Is Kylie really the villain in all this? Kidding, but like, what is this, what is this track supposed to bring to us? And, and looking at it musically, because I'm a music enthusiast, you know, I've written for some publication. No, but like, I love music. I love analyzing it and talking about it. <clears throat> I mean, the beat's iconic, it'll never go off, so it's a perfect choice for her, especially for for um, Megan using the fucking Biggie beat, like, to go back and forth, it's perfect. Um, and Kelsey said it so herself, she's not a rapper, and she doesn't really sound like a rapper. It doesn't sound bad, but it's like, it's kind of like, you could have not did this, and the world would still go on. It's not something that needs to be on the internet. Um, let's finish it off, though. <laughs> That's real. That's real. All you had to do was clear my name. All you, to, all you had to do was tell the internet, like, if, if like, that whole scenario wasn't about Kelsey and Tori's relationship, if that wasn't the reason why the whole altercation happened, I get Kelsey saying, like, if you would have cleared my name, if you would have just been on something, like, this is about Tori, this is about fuck niggas, this is about fuck boys, because at the end of the day, like, Tori is the common denominator in all the fuck shit that is happening it seems like it seems like before that they were pretty solid you know and don't get me wrong you can grow apart from your friends and being in hollywood that does change you in a level or it just changes the people around you so you're in you're in situations where you really your character is really tested and um there's so many people in your ear so many yes men that want something from you so they want to be on your team automatically like I get that, because Megan, Megan doesn't seem like she's the she's like the angel in this whole situation. Like, there's probably some shit that she did, 
But it's like, no matter what, she never, she did not deserve to get shot. She did not deserve to potentially have her life um, harmed or at risk on that level just because of some, like, little man's ego, honestly. How about a bitch from Barrett County said so? <laughs> you an H-Town hottie, though, huh? Fuck out of here. <sighs> It's just so sad that it has to, that came to this, you know, just going back to the live. She's like, yo, I've tried to call you. You don't answer the phone. So this is, this is what's going to get Megan's attention. But like, if you're seeing what the, the week that Megan's had with dropping her album and it going, it's probably going to go number two on the charts overall, probably number one. It has to be number one rap album. Um, the Grammy nominations, uh, Having a fucking song with Beyonce, like, that's, like, your life should be made after that, like, period. Um, just, she's on, she can do whatever the fuck she wants at this point. So, I don't think she's losing sleep over this Kelsey situation. And honestly, if she is A-list and she is learning from, like, the, the legends, the fucking people on the top of the music industry, like Beyonce and like Jay-Z, she's not, if she's, if she's, like, really learning from them i don't see her break giving any light to this if anything she may troll on her instagram and talk shit or like recently um she's she's like she was posting stories and she posted a post with some of her best friends and they were doing the i'll, I'll play it on the screen it could have been a little dig but I don't see her really going back, back and back, back to, I really don't see her going back to back and forth with Kelsey or Tori. I think the story is pretty much over in Megan's eyes outside of like the whole Tori potentially going to jail thing. Um, but guys, let me know what you think about this whole situation, about uh, how Kelsey and Megan have handled their friendship breakup since the Tori altercation. Let me know how you feel about the the song Bussin Bussin Back Bussin Back Bussin Bussin Shout out to them Tay Money <laughs> Um You hate to see it man I honestly in the 26 years of living I realized that my friendships have always been more important more beneficial than any type of relationship or situationship or hook, whatever I've been in with other people, because those that shit's just it hasn't been solid to the point of my friendships. So it's like when you see people really lose themselves in relationships or really get with these toxic ain't shit spouses or whatever partners, and you kind of lose a friend, it sucks. But um. You know, if they're a real friend or if the, the friendship was real, the relationship was real, that connection was, was strong, they always come back. But <sighs> Tori really fucked up a lot of shit, <laughs> man. That's all I got to say. Like, it's hard because I enjoy Tori as an artist, but he just, he seems to represent everything that I don't like in, in like the toxic masculinity That it's the culture, the culture that we've all been born into, where men can do whatever the fuck they want, and they can be bosses. They can, they can just get away with so many things. But as soon as women are on the same type of time, and as soon as a woman like Megan, who is very confident in herself and will speak up for herself, will say, "We'll play the same fuckboy games that guys have been playing for for centuries," suddenly she's the the target. She's the issue. She's what's wrong with female rap. It's like. What are we doing? I'm ranting now, so I'm gonna turn this off, but that was my reaction. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out new videos every week. I'm, I'm not gonna make any promises, but I'm working on trying to do it every day. I, I just wanna get good at this. I love, I love filming my, <laughs> I'm so annoying. I do love filming my reactions and editing them and having conversations with you guys in the comments. So if you, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, follow, hit the little bell so you know when I post. So 
we can keep having these discussions, but I will shut the fuck up now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I can get the best interest.